Oh, are you serious? Oh, I think I could beat him. I think I could beat him. Huh? What the hell, game? Oh, uh, he can go off screen? That's bull! That's some BS. I'm blind. Alright, this is Yorkin, the Yoshkin, bringing you some more. Super Paper Mario. Well, not Super Paper Mario. My, uh, <laughs> Paper Mario Color Splash, everyone. And while I'm blind right now. No, I'm not doing this game blind, but. I am blind in terms of the game, though. So, uh, I guess I can use a hurl hammer. Um, last time we actually did some stuff, which I'm going to explain after we get out of the shy guy fight. Yeah. They wouldn't let me do the attack. Oh, I guess they would let me do the attack animation. Okay, I'm back to being normal. I'm going to use one of these fire hammers. Come on, shy guy. I do like the coins I get from you. And you're not taking the area I got 100%, especially not this area. No, 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 no. I don't want to go back through here. So, last time, we went down to Fort Cabot, no, Cabot Base, down here, all the way down here at the bottom of the map, bottom left of the map, and we fought Iggy in what is a Metal Gear reference, like that entire area is pretty much a Metal Gear reference in its entirety. And I'm so used, and we actually, during the cutscene that we did do, what well, we had, we saw that this area got painted, so we gotta go through Violent Passage to get to our next part. So we got a lot of, oh shoot, do I have the right cards? How do I think about it? Um, one moment, please. Okay, yeah, I do have the right card, uh, which I guess I'll tell you right now. Bring the fan, you need it. Okay, so that's not gonna help us. There we go. I knew it was gonna be somewhere. All right, here goes a spin drum. Which, this is the area you can get from it first. I guess, yeah. So, we got the sea back up and running and there's no music. So, why is there no music? It's a bit off-putting. Like, it makes the area not feel as lively. It's Mario! Ahoy, mateys! Thank you for restoring the color to the sea, Mario. Thanks to you, the captain is able to return safely. Captain, Mario's here. It looks pissed. Yo, ye be this Mario, eh? The Mario who saved the vessel, me crew, and yars truly. I wish I can give you the rod, but me th uh, thanks will have to do. I owe you one. <laughs> I hope I'm reading pirate just right. Don't mention it, Captain. Your ship is should be able to sell now that the color has been restored to the sea. Where about uh, whereabouts are you headed? The captain and us uh, crew are about to venture to the great blue unknown. We're searching for a certain island said to be located somewhere in the Violet Isles. Fortune Island is a mystical place that hides a cache of legendary riches. Fortune Island, eh? Hmm. You know, the Violet Seas, uh, the Violet Isles have a lot of nooks and crannies. We might find some paint stars there too. I warn you, mate, I can't gu uh, guarantee your safe, pa uh, safe, yeah. <laughs> Man, this fire lingo is really getting to me. I warn ye, mate. I can't guarantee you safe passage. It's a treacherous journey. To get there, we cross the Lost Sea. How does one cross the Lost Sea? No clue, mate. 
they, they say it might be impossible to navigate, that the mist drives men mad, no soul has ever returned. Sounds like fun, but I'm sure there's some paint stars there. Alright, we need to figure out how to cross the Lost Sea before we set off. Let's set, uh, let's see what can we find. Get on you, mate. Let, let me know what you find. Okay. Why don't we actually go down into... Down here. And there's a treasure chest. I want treasure. I want money. And there's still no music here? Oh, we got a blue toad. Rescue toad. <laughs> number one rescue toad. Uh, toad number one of rescue uh, blue uh, of the blue rescue squad reporting for duty. Cause I've been okay. Hey, there's papers everywhere. A day's journey too. I feel uh -huh, I'm feeling good today. I was able to get seventy points. Did some kind of legendary captain right? On that scrap, uh, on that scrap of paper, that just might help us find our way through the lost sea. I show it to the regular captain. All right. We do have other papers, right? Like such as here. Day three. We angered the mushroom today, and things took uh, and uh, things took a starboard turn for the better. Starboard, eh? Day one, we turn after the smiling mushroom. Okay. Oh, that seems interesting. Oh, we have another piece of paper. Day four, the coin showed us the way. It's possibly because we collected more than 25. How do I, how do I, yeah, I have to hit it, okay. Here goes day five. And our natural mist has descended. We have no choice but to trust the direction that the needle points us. The, the needle points, not points us. So, here goes another item. Probably am getting these two out of order because we just saw the other one. Here goes the compass. This might it directs lost travelers to their destination. Um, This might come in handy. What about this one? Doesn't really matter which one. Um, give me. We got a battery contains enough power to uh, uh, contains enough energy to power our household items and, and such. Well, in this world, it can power much, much more. Is this, is this not colored? Apparently, it is colored, even though it's white. But I got gotcha. you. Anything else? Nothing. Okay, let's head up here. We got some information for the captain, so let's talk to the... Oh, hey, mate. You find anything down the, in the cabin? Blimey, where did you find this? I've been searching for this thing forever. It, it, uh, it's been a missing page from the legendary captain's journal. It was down there the whole time? Yeah, it was just lying around. You might just want to see an uh, see an optim uh, optimist. And who is this legendary captain? That's a pretty impressive title. The legendary captain is the greatest captain who ever lived, and one that the other captains admire. You don't say. He's the only captain to ever uh, to ever make it to Fortune Island. But after he reached Fortune Island, he was never heard from again. Only his ship, this ship, came back. They found the captain's journal on the very on this very ship. But the five uh, but the first five pages were missing, of course. Those be the pages that detail his crossing of the Lost Sea. So this piece of the uh, so this piece of paper contains entry of the legendary captain's journal. You don't say, Huey. Bingo, mate. If y'all collect all five missing pieces of entry, we should be able to cross the last scene. Then let me know when you find any more. So, all... Okay. Okay. Do I have to... Really? 
I have all five. Just give it to him. Thank you. Yeah, blow me down. That's all five journal entries. So this means we can cross this a lost sea now, right? Well, y'all in here. This has the legend of Captain One sell the seas, so we will. Two, Rafto! Away anchor and rise uh, and raise the mainsail. Fortune and paint stars await. We're all gonna die. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Yeah, that be the spirit. Uh, yeah. Let's go look for Fortune and more paint stars. So. Yeah, I'm ready to set sail. Anchors away. We be off. Set a sail for the uh, lost sea now. Uh. Blast it! There should be no wind in our sails. Not much that we could do. We need to wait for the perfect breeze to show up. Okay. Let's wait for that perfect breeze, or I can just be an awesome person and bring the fan, which is what's needed at the moment, if you didn't guess. That's why I was trying to make sure that well, I already told y'all I had the fan earlier, didn't I? But we do need the fan. Alright, let's go. Remember, if you use the wrong item, then you just lose that item. Because... Game. I don't know how they... Because you saw that the ship was connected to the dock. While I was painting, they decided to let, uh, let it up. Alright, to the Lost Sea. That actually reminds me of the Thriller Bark arc with One Piece. <laughs> oh, Roger gets his jollies. He's talking about the Roger. <laughs> On the boundless sea, go dear Roger. From beyond the lost sea. Fortune beckons our crew. Of course, I'm out of tone. Fate lies on the horizon. We pay the ultimate price. This is but one path. A legendary sacrifice. Sorry for my terrible singing, but it was warranted. At past, this is the best part of the song. That'd be the best part of the song. Captain, there's a hole in the uh, cabin floor. We're taking water. Abandon ship. Keep your pants on, sailor. Bail out the water and plug up the hole. Go. Aye, aye, Captain. Guys, I need a bucket. Hmm. Bucket, you say? Uh, can you go down to the captain and make sure we don't sink? He said, bucket, you say? I know of a certain bucket. Oh, he already has one. I was able to bail out most of the water, so I think we'll be okay. But this floor is, uh, but the card floated to the floor. It was a nice surprise. Huh. So this is the way we can get some cards. Let, I'll let you know if we find anything else down here. Okay. He's bailing out the water, so. We, what was the purpose of going down there in the first place? How do you just stop a ship without lowering the anchor? Because the anchor's up. Yeah, I be plank spared tells me that there's nothing to worry about. And he, he asks for a race. The ship is a heavy down from the legendary captain. Sometimes it shows his age a bit. Let's, uh, let's sell off. The lawsuits be closed. Keep your wits about you. 
Yeah, the anchor is still up. So how do you just stop if the wind is pushing your shit? It doesn't make sense. Now we are at the first point. This be it, mate, the lost sea. And this would be a good time to show how, how to use the ship. First, the cannons. We smash massive rocks with them in one blow. Get close to the cannon and pull, a fo pull to fire at the cannon. We'll give it a pull. Alright, so if we get close to the cannon, we can actually shoot things. Nice little mini game. You can fire the cannon on the outer side to give it a good pull. Yeah, you gotta walk fairly close, but you gotta be within that little great area for you to be able to do it. We're about to enter the Lost Sea. Five journal pages you find will help you guide us. If you want to turn the rudder or return to port, speak to the helmsman. Talk to the helmsman when you're ready. So yeah, you can just stand fairly far away and still pull against the cannon. Right at the edge of the grate right here, if you see what I'm talking about. But let's read the journal. Oh, you can't read the journal. Actually, I think I have it on me, so... Let's actually read the journal. Oh. Journal entry number one. We turned up to the smiling mushroom. So we got our member. We see mushrooms up ahead. So why don't we go look at the smiling one? We're off. So it's kind of a boring trip, but it is a cool thing. It kind of reminds me of chapter five of, um, of Thousand Year Door. Orders, turn left, turn right, back to port. That's about it. But we have to look for the smiling mushroom. That's about it, though. Really, there's nothing really to say, but jeez. We'll have to talk about the new chapter. There's a new chapter, and it's um, spoilers here if you actually do watch one, read One Piece or you just watch the anime. Katakiri versus Luffy, man. That is an amazing fight. That's about to be really, really good. Now, where's this darn smiling mushroom? Oh, here it is. Here it is. So, we're going to turn left. Turning left. He's technically not smiling, but his face is different. You get me? Like, there's no smile on him. They could have said the different mushroom, but I guess that was too much to ask for. Now, we need to get, I think, either 75 points or 25. I think it's 75. Well, this is a change of scenery. What's that round thing uh, jutting out the water there? Yeah, let's look at the journal one more time. Day two. I feel good. I even was able to, uh, I was feeling good today. I was able to get 70 points. Now, funny enough on this mini game, if you fail enough, because it's possible, because I've done it because of my controller and partially because of me, but if you fail, I think, around three times, you will... You won't get a game over, but it will make it easier. So instead of them being five, it'll be um, ten, just across the board. But this mini game isn't too tough. I just have my controller constantly coming back at me. And that one's a bit further, but I have my controller constantly like moving me up and down, so I'll move away from the cannon when I didn't want to move away from the cannon. So this mini game isn't too tough. I, I wish they would tell you how many points you had, like like right when you're doing it, but you can so you can see how much you're how well you're doing because you know you need seventy, but the game doesn't tell you how many points you have. I think there's one gonna pop up right here. Yep. Oh, come on. 
I knew it was about to pop up, but it didn't pop up for me. Dang. Oh, well, I didn't hit it. So, yeah, because this one feels a bit shorter distance. Yeah, it's a shorter distance. Uh, hopefully I got enough. We're almost reaching the end. I think I missed. No, I got it! Yes! Okay, if I miss by five points, I'm about to be pissed. Okay, I got more than 70 points. That's good. So I even... We got 70 points exactly, yes! I did not want to do this again. Um, essentially this will be blocked off and you would have to they'll turn left and you go through the course again and the C makes it easier on you each and every time instead of just making you get better at the game they just make it easier for you which kind of feels less rewarding when you get to it if you get what I mean and this music is so like it is it fits the area but it just doesn't sound very good more adorable toad rocks po poking out the water Oh, just look, they said mushroom. Look at the place. We, it looks like the place we start at, but slightly different. So why don't we read journal number three? We angered the mushroom today. Things took us uh, st uh, turn starboard for the better. Hmm. Starboard. Port, I think, means left, and starboard means right, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, let me actually look it up really fast. So, give me one moment. Okay, yes, I was right. It does refer to left and right. So, port means left, starport means right. So, we would have to turn right once we see the angry mushroom. Or the angry toad, as he just told me it was. He doesn't know what it wants to be. Like, it wasn't... Like, you can tell when something looks angry. His eyes go down a bit, but... Smiling, he didn't even have a freaking face. He didn't have a mouth. He does have a face. He didn't have a mouth, so how am I supposed to know if it's smiling or not? It just looked different. Ooh. We don't want to get lost in a Bermuda Triangle, man. We're on our way to Fishman Island. On our way to Raftal. Oh, One Piece references. I just do feel like speeding this up because it's kind of slow, but I'm just going to narrate over it, even though I'm doing kind of a terrible job. Where is this mushroom? It's a bit slow. If I do fail this, then I'm... um. Fork, right? And the ship stops when you're reading. No, starport, so that means re right. So you gotta turn right when it happens. The angry mushroom should, or angry toad, should be coming up pretty close. I think that one's it right there. I think it just turns angry. Because I didn't see it. Ah, oh, crap. It looks like I'm probably speeding it up. Wait a second. What is with that one? I'm going to hit it. Oh, couldn't hit it. Okay, I'm about to speed it up, guys, because I didn't see it on the first run. Oh, wait. I'm not going to speed it up just yet. Yeah, if you get it wrong, you're forced into a battle. You can always run. It's not like they're going to stay on the ship. But you're forced into a battle each time you get it wrong.
Yeah, but you can still get experience. Don't lose your hopes, mate. We may... Uh, okay. Uh, me motivational speeches be needing some more. How does one anger a mushroom? It seems like a cannonball to the face of my dude. Oh. So I gotta pull the cannons. I thought I was just waiting for, um... Does this mean any mushroom would do? Yeah, let's. I think I figured this out the first time I did it. Um, we angered, so that means he did something intentionally. I should just read through the line. That one's sad. This one's probably gonna be sad. Yep, that one's sad. So I'm not speeding it up this time. It's a good thing I got, um... It's a good thing I figured this out. Or Huey told me what it was. I should have figured it out from the get-go, but... The game doesn't like to let you... The game doesn't think you're smart enough to do so. So, I guess that... It should be one of the left ones, though, on the um, top of the screen. Oh, that one's angry. That one's angry. That one's angry. Yeah, we got it. Just in time, I think, too. That one's angry, though. It's the one right before the end. If you want to know, I'll put your head. Man, why is this shit so slow? Man, I would feel bad for Luke and his crew if their ship was really this slow. So, we're gonna be using one cannon only. More uncharted waters. This is a coin floating. Is that a coin floating out there? I want that coin. So, let's start. We need to get at least 25 coins. Now, of course, like I said before, they will make these coins they will make these coins easier if you fail 3 times like I've done when I first uh, started playing the game. But remember there is a wind up so you got to actually well, prepare the shot. But it's kind of, it's pretty forgiving when you know about the wind-up. Alright, here we go. They do get further out, but there goes some, uh, there goes a power block, and you actually do want to hit the power block. Yep, we got that power block. Wasn't really counting how many coins I got, so. Nope, I'm not getting that coin. But they will just make the coins bigger because I'm starting to fail right now. I'm so used to the bigger coins. Oh, that, there goes another fail. And they're starting to get... Oh, that's getting on me, all the coins. Okay, here we go, right here. Oh, that barely missed. Oh, we got it. You plundered 33 coins. Yeah, they're not hard, and I was missing a lot. Where, Mario, where are you? Thank you. Give me my coins. Oh, crap, 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 Oh boy, I was gonna have to do that again. It doesn't have to be the exact location, but I couldn't see where Mario was. Don't tell me I got it wrong. Nope. So we're down into the mist. A dark mist to be upon us. I. We be close to the vile isles, or they be close in to us. I can't see squat. 
One careless move could cost us everything. Which way should we go, mate? Hmm, so why don't we read the last journal entry again? The natural mist has descended. We have no choice but to trust our direction that the needle points us. So, we have to trust what the needle points us to. I know there's something over here. Oh, I remember. I, I, th I think I remember. Why don't you talk to the captain? You can't be wasting time in our hall. Go check it on, mate. All right, let's actually go down underneath and see if we find anything. Yeah, we did find something. My, I finally stopped, uh, stopped the hole. What a relief. And I found this flag while I was uh, looking around, uh, around the captain. I think it attaches to the ship somehow. Maybe it's the legendary captain used it. I'm going to host it. Hoist it, <laughs> not host it. Hoist! Hoist the main sails! So I'm actually be having a bit more fun this episode. I haven't really. Hmm. It's a little worse for wear, but it's good enough. Captain, if it, 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 if it was good enough for the little captain, it would be good enough for us. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. We gotta wait for the right time. Or something, on, on the other hand. So, wait, wait. And it's not, it's just not very rectangular. I know you just do, don't you? Hey, you don't want to return to the port just yet. You're so close. Oh, I remember. Uh, what are we? Uh, thrift shop pirates? Fix it or take it down, mate. So, why don't we blow this up right here? Not, it doesn't really tell you to, but you can. And that happens to create a crack right there. Enough to make that into a square. Yeah, you have to do something like that just to make it into... It doesn't make sense. I just put it like that. It doesn't make sense. So, that new compass we just got in this episode, we want to use. So show us the way, compass. Yeah, be hard. The compass be be a pirate's best friend. Right up there in the R and uh, right up there with the letter R and the vitamin C. Hmm. You smell that? We see a nice looking paint star. Yeah, you ain't gotta turn them this time. We've done it, mates. We crossed the lost uh, the lost sea. We be legends now. On to Fortune Island. Hurry up and grab that thing so we can get get it moving, will ya? So we just did the violent for uh the violent uh, uh voyage. Um, we got another um what's the name too? Oh shoot! Did I forget to do that. We do it now. I'm glad I didn't forget it before I ended the episode, though. Yeah, that goes up here in the purple area. Oh, looks like a letter from Princess Peach is all the way up there, but we can't get to it just yet. I'm surprised you don't just take the ship with you. Yeah, we went to... Uh, oh, it would have been better if they named it Violent Voyage. This isn't the third one, is it? No, it was the fourth one. Yeah, new Rochambeau Temple. We got a new Rochambeau Temple, but... We have to do this, and I'm glad I saved it for the end of the episode, because I'm actually curious on how this actually works. Blind things are actually more important, more exciting than the main thing. Rochambeau Temple! Number three!
Welcome. Got plenty of coins anyway. Like, I don't really need this many coins. It's like, yeah, like, oh, just go through the door. Yep. Oh, shoot, I forgot to ask for the hints. Oh, I can go back and ask for the hints. Uh, or not. Why don't we just play by ear? More exciting that way, isn't it? Game of Rose Shampoo is a dark fo uh, force of self doubt, home to the ravenous beasts that prey in your deepest fears and insecurities. With only three weapons at their disposal, are these warriors destined for glory or eternal embarrassments? This is the art of Rose Shampoo. Super Rose Shampoo. And with that, the competitors will take the stage. In this corner, up and coming figure of the lightning fast fingers, the Mr. Mama Mia himself, Mama 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 Mario. I can do it in my announcer's voice too. And in this corner, with a hundred hollow eyes and twenty wiggler arms, this is the self-esteemed. Half of, uh, self-esteem of half a Goomba. This is Shine, uh, Shy Guy Five Stack? Huh, I was thinking of Wiggler. I don't know why. Uh, round one. Mario versus Shy Guy Stack Five. Challenger, set your cards. I have a feeling that I might want to go with scissors. That's the feeling I'm getting. Shy, so he wants to hide his face with his hand. Yay! That actually makes sense. Maybe. Or what I put in. Here's your prize for making it to this round. If I win this too many times, I'm going to be back at full points. Alright, bye, Shy Guy 5 Shack. And your second round opponent approaches. If he's if as if he couldn't get a uh, get any more miserable, he's the darkest, the dampest duelist, the clummy comma, the s the small guy, the soggy guy. Are you serious? Round two, Mario versus Soggy Guy. Draw your cards. Um, I'm gonna predict that he picks rocks. I'm gonna pick paper. You can't really cut anything with water. So, well, you can if it's at high speeds. Shambo! I was thinking of scissors. Because it'd be... But, because it's easier to cut water if it's, uh, well, cut paper if it's water. I'm just going to go with scissors this time. So why are they both paper? Shampo! Yeah, you just pick paper again. Okay. Next one is just trying to predict your opponent. Yeah, I'm going to be at max points again by the end of this. Chance's victories, uh, chance victories in here. The king of Rochambeau's true power will be unleashed in this world. I doubt that they're all gonna just pick a paper. Uh, round three, let's set our cards. I'm going to pick paper this time because he's been everyone else been picking scissors, so or well, picking. Uh, I've been picking scissors this entire time. I'm just gonna go with paper because I'm thinking he's gonna rock. Row, shampo. No. Alright, I'll meet you guys back there. At least I know what they're gonna do. Because the destiny is the same thing. Every time. So why don't we actually get the hints first? First round following is like papery sounds and when they make a rustle together. They don't really like hard things. Uh, second, uh, secondary opponents are soggy and black. 
flat. Okay. So it's just telling you paper uh, sister symbols. And it cost me 300. I just earned a thousand, so. No, 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 I've earned more. I've earned 1200. My bad. Let's get this. Alright, so I'll meet you guys back up there. But apparently, he can pick scissors too. So, it might be that it's rock. Wait, that is a bit different. Yeah, you can pick rock or scissors. I mean, he can pick scissors or paper. So, just be careful. So, I would just pick scissors constantly because you can either get a draw or you can get, or you can win. So, for the first round, pick scissors. Uh, it didn't actually cut, so... Yeah, for the first round, just constantly pick scissors until he actually makes the feet. Because he's not going to pick a rock. He only has two options. You either can tie or win. So just pick scissors. Alright, we're back with the final competitor. So, I'm going to pick rock off the bat. Because that's what he did last time. And they, the AI usually likes to do the same thing they did the first time. So, bro, sham, foe, huh? Yeah, so I guess this is always random. Let's go with rock again. Last time I went with paper, it didn't work. Bro, sham, foe, there we go, we win. There goes Mario. I can't believe it. Mario has defeated the Rock Paper Wizard for the third time. Took me two, what, three tries? Yeah, it took me three tries, but. And for the tournament, if you are the, our tournament champion, you'll be going home with a big fat stack of coins and a new card. I don't need all these coins. I guess when Mario ever gets in a set in a sane amount of coins, he just donates the rest of charity or something like that. Makes sense. Like you can't hold anymore, so he just donates some charity. I guess he had nice calls for anyone who can't afford as many coins as he gets. You won! Congratulations! Wow, you beat the Rock Paper Wizard. Okay, you just say the same thing. Oh, so you can actually redo it if you want to. But I got max coins. Not too far again. Not too far, huh? Dude, this time, I wish I could help. You can redo it again, but I just choose not to. I, I don't care about fight. I already got the lose weight card. But, since we already did, well, the Violet Passage, I like to call it the Violet Voyage, because it's a better name for it. We did the Violet Voyage, and we did Roshan Bow Temple number three and completed it. So, next time on Paper Mario Color Splash, we're gonna be heading out. Wait, I went the wrong way. Next time on Paper Mario Color Splash. We need to splash that color up in our world. We're going to be heading from the Violent Passage to Vortex Island. And then I guess I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.